Selamat pagi, repeaters! Day 2 of our Bali adventure. After a long day yesterday because of the flight and jet lag, we find ourselves in the heart of Bali, surrounded by lush greenery, blooming plants and trees, and the promise of a day filled with adventure. And what better way to start our day than with a delightful breakfast? Join us as we embrace the morning bliss here in paradise of Bali. Jadi ayo pergi! We woke up around 9 a.m. and walked to the dining area for our breakfast. They immediately served us Bali's local fruits such as pineapples, wow. watermelon. Luckily, Mama doesn't eat watermelon. This means I can have them all. Yay! Papaya and dragon fruit. Do you know that we always enjoy eating here in the land of the gods as their delicious and juicy local tropical fruits? Bali is a tropical paradise that offers a variety of fruits that are not only tasty but also healthy and nutritious. One of the reasons why Bali has one of the most tastiest tropical fruits is because of its climate. It has a warm and humid climate that is ideal for growing fruits. The fruits are exposed to plenty of sunshine and rain, which helps them develop their natural sweetness and flavor. The fruits are also harvested at the peak of their ripeness, which ensures that they are fresh and juicy. Another reason why Bali is one of the tastiest tropical fruits is because of its rich soil. Bali has a volcanic soil that is fertile and rich in minerals. I don't know what the word fertile means. The soil provides the fruits with the nutrients they need to grow and thrive. The soil also gives the fruits a distinctive taste that is hard to find elsewhere. I highly recommend you try their mango. It is one of the most popular fruits in Bali and they are sweet, juicy, and refreshing. Dragon fruit is a must try too. It's a fruit that looks like a dragon's egg. It has a bright pink skin with green scales and a white or red flesh with tiny black seeds. Dragon fruit has a mild and sweet taste that resembles kiwi, pear, and watermelon. But this is a reminder that do not consume a lot of it, especially if you're in your holidays and would like to experience the nature and beauty of this place. Dragon fruits are natural laxative. You will poop your pants. Believe me, lessons are learned the hard way, and this was from my personal experience. The dragon just blew up my butt. Or be warned, you're going to want to close the bathroom if you want to try it. And then, Mama saw this piece of lime. She squeezed the fruit in the lime and made lime water out of it. And the breakfast meal just arrived. There's still special about this brekkie, but it's just a continental breakfast. A continental breakfast is a light morning meal that typically includes a variety of baked goods, fruits, cereals, and beverages. In this breakfast, we got two slices of toast with butter, fresh tomato, slices of mushroom, two small sausages, strips of bacon, and two fried eggs. Oh, and Balinese coffee as well. Mari makan! Oh, just because it's black, just eh? and I told you to put my person in the room, you think your mother is a racist? Yes, those flies are so annoying. A few hours later, after we eat, it's just hard to say no to this lovely pool. To make the most of your hotel pool experience, consider the following tips for proper utilization. Whatever that is. Pack appropriate attire. Bring appropriate swimmer, towels, and any necessary pool accessories. Some hotels may provide towels. For the girls, please bring your you-know-whats for your you-know-whats. What do you mean? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Follow pool rules. Familiarize yourself with the pool rules and adhere to them. Rules may include restrictions on diving, running, or bringing glass containers to the pool area. Be mindful of noise. Keep noise levels in check, especially if there are other guests around. Avoid playing loud music or engaging in disruptive activities that may disturb others. Be considerate of other guest space and privacy. Avoid overcrowding and maintain a respectful distance from others. Supervise children. If you're with children, keep a close eye on them to ensure their safety. Follow any age or height restrictions for certain pool features. Hydrate. Stay hydrated, especially if you're spending a significant amount of time in the sun. Bring a water bottle to the pool and take regular breaks to rehydrate. Use sunscreen. If the pool is outdoors, apply sunscreen to protect your skin from the sun's harmful rays. Reapply is needed, especially after swimming. Take breaks. Don't forget to take breaks and relax in the poolside. Use the opportunity to read a book, enjoy a refreshing beverage, or simply soak up the sun. Remember that different hotels have different policies and amenities. 
If you have ever visited Bali, you will probably notice the enchanting fragrance of frangipani flowers, also known as plumeria, that fills the air. These delicate star-shaped blossoms are one of the most iconic and beloved symbols of the island, and they have a deep cultural and spiritual significance for the Balinese people. Frangipani flowers come in various colors such as white, yellow, pink, red, orange, and they bloom all year round on thick branch trees that can grow up to 10 meters tall. The flowers have a sweet and soothing aroma that is especially strong at night, and they are often used as decorations, offerings, and spa treatments. But why is frangipani so popular in Bali? A symbol of beauty and purity. One of the reasons why frangipani is so popular in Bali is because of its exquisite beauty and its association with purity and devotion. The Balinese believe that frangipani flowers are sacred and represent the pure and untainted heart offered to the gods. That's why frangipani flowers are commonly used in religious ceremonies and temple offerings, as well as weddings and funerals. A spiritual connection with the universe. Its spiritual significance and its connection with the cosmos. The Balinese view frangipani as a bridge between the earthly realm and the divine realm, a conduit that carries their prayers and aspirations to the heavens. A source of healing and renewal. Its healing properties and its symbolism of resilience and renewal. Frangipani trees are known for their ability to survive even if they have been uprooted or cut down. They can grow new roots from their branches or stems and bloom again in a new location. This characteristic is a metaphor for life sil sic cycli cycle cyclical eh? cyclical nature and the possibility of new beginnings and growth even if the face of challenges a fragrant journey of culture and spirituality Lumeria is more than just a beautiful flower with a pleasant scent it's a native tropical plant that has woven itself intricately into bali's culture spirituality and daily life if you want to experience the magic of frangipani for yourself you can visit bali during any season and enjoy its captivating fragrance wherever you go or you can treat yourself to a relaxing spa where frangipani petals are used to enhance your well-being how about you repeaters let me know in the comment section below what are your favorite flowers that you like to receive or something you adore looking at i love hearing from you guys and the time has turned again. We are ready for our lunch. We went to the warung near our hotel and we came up with this food that offers mixed rice. One of the best things about warongs is that they are run by friendly and hospitable locals who are happy to chat with you and share their stories. You can learn a lot about the culture and history of Bali by talking to the owners or the staff of a warong. You can also meet other travelers or expats who frequently eat at warongs and make new friends. Warongs are more than just places to eat. They are places to connect and experience the real Bali. In Bali, a warong is a small traditional eatery or food stall that offers local Indonesian cuisine. Warongs are an integral part of the culinary scene in Bali, providing both locals and tourists with affordable and authentic Indonesian dishes. Or if they're lazy to cook, then that's a last resort. Here are some key features and aspects of warongs in Bali. Local flavors. Warongs are known for serving traditional Balinese and Indonesian dishes, showcasing the rich and diverse flavors of the region. Popular items include nasi goreng or fried rice, mie goreng or fried noodles, satay or grilled skewers, and various rendang dishes. Affordability Warongs are often budget-friendly, making them a popular choice for those looking for delicious and economical meals. This makes them accessible to both locals and budget-conscious travelers. Like mama. Casual atmosphere. Warongs typically have a laid back and casual atmosphere. Many are open air or have simple seating arrangements, providing a relaxed setting for patrons. Local ingredients. Authenticity is key in warongs, and many use locally sourced ingredients to prepare their dishes. This ensures a genuine taste of Balinese and Indonesian culture. Variety. Warongs often offer a variety of dishes catering to different preferences and dietary needs. You can find options ranging from meat-based dishes to vegetarian and vegan choices. Street food culture. Some warongs operate as part of the street food culture, especially in busy markets or along popular streets. They may set up temporary stalls or operate from small carts, adding to the dynamic street food scene. Cultural experience. Dining at a warong provides a cultural experience, allowing visitors to immerse themselves in the local food culture. It's an opportunity to try authentic Indonesian dishes in a setting that reflects the everyday dining habits of the Balinese people. Community connection. Warongs are often family-run businesses, and patrons may experience a sense of community and hospitality when dining at these establishments. The staff may be friendly and welcoming, adding to the overall positive experience.
Whether you're seeking a quick and affordable meal or want to explore the local culinary scene, visiting a warong in Bali is a great way to enjoy traditional Indonesian flavors in a casual and authentic setting. So, if you're visiting or revisiting Bali, don't miss the chance to visit a warong and enjoy a delicious and authentic meal. You'll be supporting the local economy and culture, and you'll have a memorable and satisfying experience. Warongs are one of the best ways to discover the true essence of this island. We ordered this as a takeaway or as locals call it bungkus because it was just so hot outside and it's nice to eat in an air-conditioned room. We ordered mama's favorite beef, rendang, jackfruit with curry sauce. Yes, in Southeast Asia, we cook unripe jackfruit as stir-fried vegetables. Let me know in the comment section if you want a further explanation about jackfruit as an ingredient for stir-fried veggies. And we also ate leftover satay babi and oxtail stew from yesterday's meal. Bon appetit! A few moments later. Let's explore the fascinating world of the superlative gallery in Bali. We didn't pay anything to go in the gallery. In short, it's free! Yippee! The Superlative Gallery, launched by the Superlative Secret Society, is a groundbreaking space that merges traditional and digital art. I don't think the Superlative Secret Society is secret anymore now that I'm talking about it in this video. Located in the heart of Kuta, this is a few steps from our hotel. This gallery is a haven for art enthusiasts and collectors alike. It's the first non-fungible token or NFT offline gallery in Indonesia. Oh, and I tried this ice cream in the convenience store. Chopito. Mama saw this ad and quickly went straight to the cafe to order cappuccino and apple crumble. Are you one of those people who can't function without their daily dose of caffeine? My mama, yes. She's so obsessed that a warm cup of coffee can turn a sluggish afternoon into a productive one. Even in a very hot afternoon, she still prefers a steaming mug of coffee. She loves the aroma of freshly brewed coffee and can instantly lift her spirits and her fatigue. She needs an energy boost to power through the rest of the day. The caffeine kick wakes up her brain cells and gets back on track. Thank you for hearing me. I'm very sorry. Now Mama is energized. We went strolling in this beach side of Kuta. Kuta Beach! Stay tuned for the next part of this video. If you're liking this video, please follow or subscribe, hit the bell icon, share, like this video, and comment down below. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates on our adventures. See you in the next videos, my dear repeaters. Bye bye to all of my repeaters. That is all from Cook Repeat. Oh, and terima kasih and sampai jumpa.